Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shadow or Door. Should I come back to you with episode 11 of Direwolf 20's 1.19 mod pack? And I actually just finished a three-hour and 30-minute live stream, which was episode 10.5. If you guys do want to watch that, you know, not all of it. There are some good parts in there. Um, the biggest takeaway that I think is that this series is going to get very, very overpowered. So. In that live stream, we discovered Apothesis's Reforged system. Okay, that's these actual gems and all of this. So let me actually go show you the gems before I go downstairs. So these gems can be converted into what is called gem powder or gem dust. Um, so if I actually look up gem dust, you can see that this first little item here is called gem dust. Basically, you take a gem drop an anvil on top of it, makes gem dust. Gem dust can be used to make a reforging table and also a salvaging table. Salvaging table is your first one. Reforge table is your second. This will take items, which actually we can do real quick because I have some items to reforge, um, from a ship we cleared at the very end of the live stream. And basically, we take an item that is uh, got a apothesis enchant type of thing or forged piece and we can take that into our salvage table or salvaging table click salvage and get a a variation of the rarity material okay there are several different types of rarity material so if we look at, at apothesis you can see here that there is rare or common uncommon rare epic and mythic mythic of course being the best un or yeah common being the worst uh, but it's not really too too bad in all honesty and we have quite a bit of different stuff to actually break down here you can see we've got an uncommon uh we've got a rare here uh common uh common 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 and common you can actually toss a lot of these in here and it'll give you all of the materials that are in them okay so we can just click salvage there we go got a decent chunk and then, of course, let's see. What else we got in here? Uh, anything tool-wise. This has got an enchant on it. I'm going to take that enchant off um, temporarily. But this was all the loot that I got, actually, from that ship that I fully cleared this time. So we've got a few gems. And these gems actually will be useful. Uh, so I learned that you can socket things. Um... There is a sigil of socketing, which you can apply using a smithing table to an item that will allow for you to put sockets on armors. So what this means is, in theory, I could have, I believe in total, I, at the end of the day, I saw you could add four sockets. Um, I don't know if that's with the sigil of, socket, the sigil of socketing or this one. Um, I did up to four with the superior sigil of socketing, so I didn't do full testing with this. Um, but you can do up to four with this. Okay, so if you just click on it. So this one can apply three, this one can apply four. Um, but basically, you can have more sockets on your um, already existing forged armor, or just reforge it um, using the reforging table, which I don't actually have any gem dust, but I can show you the kind of examples. So if I throw this in here, and I take this blast for, actually no, not this one. Uh, you know what? If I take this silent gear pickaxe, we, we discovered that you can do this with silent gear. Um, you can actually make them better, right? So this one actually has an empty socket on here, but you do need experience and also gem dust. So you do need to acquire gems that are not the greatest, break them down, and then keep the ones that you want to apply to tools for later. Uh, this is even enchanted. So it's a silent gear enchanted tool that I can also reforge. Uh, so keep that in mind. So, the actual chest plate I'm wearing, that gold, that diamond one, I actually smithing tabled it up to the Bygone Nethers Gilded, uh, which, side note, it's not terrible. I did say it was terrible in the live stream. Apparently, when the Bygone one breaks, it replaces it with an exact replica of a netherite variant. So, you basically have a second tier of the armor. Fantastic. Wish I knew it. Doesn't tell you anywhere. Uh, but the durability is 128. So... Keep that in mind. It's low, but it's actually because it's basically another lay of, level of armor. Also, I can enchant this bow with reforge and all that too. 
So a lot of cool things. Um, also, I got a telepad or temp pad, telepad, one of those temp pad. Uh, by killing the the wither, wither, uh, I made a box over yonder, and I killed him two times. Not that's all I had uh, at the time. I just got these uh, from the ship. So I mean, we could kill him real quick if we wanted to. I mean, we can. Let's go do that. We got four of these bad boys. Let's just put one in the system. Grab some soul sand. And uh, let's go kill the wither on camera. Uh, also, the disenchanter from Cyclic. I went ahead and made that. Which is the melting chamber, solidification chamber to get the crystallized amber. And then crystallized obsidian. And then making this. Which if I show you that... The Disenchanter recipe, Crystallized Obsidian. Uh, crystallized Obsidian comes from this, which is Liquid Slime, which is required, requiring the Melting Chamber, and, of course, the Solidification Chamber. Then you also need the Crystallized Amber, which is Magma, which is, of course, putting Magma Blocks in the um, Melting Chamber, and all of that. So, uh, this is an XP drain thing, because this does require XP to Disenchant, and, of course, Books. And uh, we can actually take this out and go uh, real quickly, just unforge it. Uh, does it waste material? Yes, I really could get diamonds out of this. I could, but I'm not going to. I'm trying to just get some material. I may do that with uncommon, or with the common materials, because they're not really going to be that useful, in all honesty. So I may do that in the future. Also, I have a lot of backpacks on me. I just got like three or four of these from the stupid uh, ship. So, backpacks out of the wazoo. Alright, let's go kill a wither on camera. Also, I got a new diamond sword. I disenchanted it, re-enchanted it. It's got mending, looting five, unbreaking five. Got it from a wandering trader a while ago. Had that wandering trader in my backpack for a little while. And uh, finally decided to get some emeralds to get that in. Uh, diamond sword, convert it to silent gear, put a com um, what is it? Compressed iron ingot, handle on it, uh, took the handle grip, the binding, all of that off the original sword, and uh, yeah, so I got a new sword. Just a few recaps. I won't recap everything, because there's some things that I honestly can't remember. It was over three hours, so keep that in mind. Almost dead. Alright. So, the other thing is uh, the armor we want to go for is uh, dragon armor. It's going to be overpowered. We're most likely going to uh, reforge that with mythic or god pearls, which is the... Which, well, that is mythic. Uh, this is epic, not mythic. Let me correct myself. Epic is this. Mythic is gold. Um, we also have a goat. That uh, won't die as well. Like, this guy will not actually die. Like, he is super, super powerful. Uh, that didn't do anything to him. I think he just keeps regening. And he also just killed me. Oh, crap. I guess I'm not that far away. I forgot to reset my spawn. Anyway, uh, he's super powerful. I cannot kill him. I've got to figure out a way to kill him. To get whatever he's got. Uh, he will drop something. I don't know if it'll be a god pearl. But uh, I guess we'll see here. Why am I so slow? I feel like I'm like super slow. Maybe it's because all the armor. Alright, so I, I've captured the goat. <laughs> that was a mistake. It's okay. My boots are almost broken. The one durability. Man, that goat did a lot of damage. Does this actually repair stuff that's in my inventory or on me? I thought it should repair everything. It just might take a while. Anyway, let's see here. So, we've killed the wither. Um, there's, you know, some decent uses for the nether stars. Uh, spirit, which is vitalize. This is a thing. I don't 100% know what this does. But it does something. 
It looks like there's like some sort of like system. with spirit that can like use this stuff. I don't know. There's not really a whole lot of information on it. So something to look at. Um, but this episode, we are going to kind of backtrack a little bit and kind of get a little bit more of AE2 stuff done. Let me get my inventory cleared out. Uh, and I will be right back with you guys. Alrighty. So, uh, I quickly went ahead and actually made the accelerators because um, I completely didn't do that during the live stream. I was going to, completely forgot about it, um, but we have them set up here. And basically what's happening is we've got two, um, well, technically one crystal here, one crystal on the bottom for both of these. So four different crystals being broken and all of them being exported into this barrel. Uh, the reason they're exported into this barrel be is because we want to then take this and do some things with it, right? I don't remember what those things are. Charge Certus Quartz? Uh, actually, hold on. Before I do this, let's disconnect this. I want to divide these systems. Um, and what I mean by that is one of them I want to be Charge Certus Quartz. The other one I want to be... Um... Oh, what is it? <sighs> Completely just spaced. Charged and... Do, 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 do. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I don't know. We'll get there. Charged and the the processor. That's what I was thinking. The inscriber. We want printed calculation. That's what I was thinking. Alright, so let's do this. And... There's no real good way to power this, is there? Not really. I mean, I guess we could just do... Now we want to go under. Quartz fiber there, do that. And also, these were supposed to... Well, actually, no, this is blue. That's blue. That's purple. It looks purple to me. Anyway, that should be powered. And now what we should have is to put that in there, get rid of that dust. And we'll do a charger. Probably right about here. I think. So I guess we could have just put the cable here. And then just get rid of that bottom one. Okay. So we'll then put the charger here. Hopper. Um, actually, probably just laser. Uh, yeah, we can laser it. All right, so let's grab Hopper. So what I'm thinking actually is just storage busing this somehow into the main system. Uh, maybe we actually just put that like right here. Can we make a, a drawer out of ebony? No. We don't got anything of that sort, sadly. So we'll have to just go with what we have. Alright, so I think what we'll do is we'll storage bust this. Then, let's see... Isn't this how you make facades? That's refined storages. I don't want refined storages. I want AE2s.
Oh, you need cable anchors. That's what I was doing wrong. All right, so we'll make some facades here. And then we can grab a storage, or yeah, storage bus. see annihilation and we'll need glass all right so now what we should have is to grab our charger which we're just going to make another one So charger, hopper, and then we're gonna laser node this and basically just import into that. So um, how we're gonna do this is actually, I think I have laser, I have cards in here. All right, so let's see. All right, so down, extract, right click, filter, allow, charged. Um, and then we'll actually need another laser node. So we'll need a laser connector, two of these bad boys. And then one laser node. All right, and we're actually going to only want 64, or well, only want a certain amount. So once it hits that 2,000, I think I'm fine with just voiding, right? Like I don't need a whole lot of these items after the fact, right? So then we'll do... Which direction is that? That is south. Insert card. Okay, so that should just import all of the charged Certus Quartz crystals. Because in reality, we aren't going to really need that many of these. Right? Like, that's a thing. Because at the end of the day, you are just making them. Right? There's no real loss. So if I get a bigger storage drawer or storage container type of thing like upgrades and all that i mean that'll be fine did i not make the storage bus apparently i didn't i made everything to make it and i just completely didn't make it all right so we're just going to set this on top and storage bus Table facade. Nope. Network tool. Okay, and that purely just removed the facade. Fantastic. We have that set up. So now what we should see is a storage drawer pop up on the system with charged Certus Quartz crystals. And you can see we're constantly getting more. So that is awesome. We've got one of the pieces automated. We need to keep going. So I think with this one, what we need to do is basically make the inscriber stuff, right? Getting that calculation process so we can have those in the back burner. Um, so then we can actually get everything going. Uh, actually, no, this is silicone. We need silicone first, right? So this one will be its own thing. This one will be silicone. We'll make another one over here that'll be the calculation processes, uh, processors, I think. 
And then over here, we'll make a, um, what do you call it? The simpler version. So this is not in the way. All right. The, uh, the dust one. Okay. Let me be right back. Uh, let me get everything we need for this, which is the, what do we need for this? Actually, let me think we need a few things for it, right? Cause it's the, no, we just need a furnace, a redstone furnace and a way to get power over here. So flux network power, uh, redstone furnace or two and uh, laser IO to actually get that back over here. So we have access to silicone drawer with storage bus you know i kill one enderman and i get a mythic axe i like it this suit sword has looting five by the way so i'm going to be getting quite a bit of tools and stuff which is fine by me but um i wasn't expecting the first kill of an enderman to be uh mythic that is fantastic we're gonna go over here and kill this magma slime here Oh, magma creams right away. Fantastic. Oh, and I got a magma cube slime statue. Oh, what in the world is this? Huh, there's like statues upgrades now? I have no idea what that is. I've never seen that before. Okay, well, I'm moving on. Yeah, so this is the way to do it, I guess. Just uh, killing some piglins to get some armor. Come on, give me it. What did I just get? Mythic. Iron Forged. So, uncommon, uncommon, mythic. And those are just generic uh, swords. So we got three mythics so far. And I've got pigmen that are angry at me. But that's okay. Let's get out of here. I'm looking for endermen. I just saw a few pigmen that had uh, diamond leggings on, so I decided to pick a fight with them. Maybe never the best idea, but uh, in the moment, it was okay. So, yeah, just trying to get ender pearls to get the Flux Network stuff going. Alright, so quickly, I am... Uh, salvaging a lot of this armor here just quickly looking at it i mean i could use these leggings <laughs> i really could but i don't know i mean those actually are better than mine so i guess we'll keep these windswept leggings for now we can upgrade them in a bit And we'll keep that trident as well. Alright, so we'll salvage. So we actually got some mythic dust. Which, of course, mythic dust will allow for us to get some pretty, pretty good results, I assume. Uh, ignores 28% of durability damage, fall damage taken, reduced by 30%. When attacked, gain instant health too. Uh, not really great. Kind of hoping for, like, better armor. But that's okay. Yeah, we can upgrade these, uh, these windswept ones to netherite. And then get them gilded and then go from there. That's fine by me. And then my old trident, we can actually just get rid of. Alright, so we should have enough ender pearls, just two. Um, and then we'll need to turn these into Eye of Enders. Eye of Enders then will become the Flux uh cores and then a flux point i guess i only need one ivan or one ender pearl and i already had one ender pearl so i kind of wasted that trip but i got some mythics so i'm fine 
Um, now let's get the redstone furnace, which isn't that expensive. Man, I like how everything is just here now. It's such a such a great thing having an applied energistics ME system or a fine storage system. I mean either or really. I ain't too picky. Uh let's grab one of these bad boys. All right, now we actually will also need a storage bus and a barrel. Storage bus and a barrel, huh? I actually want to try and fix something real quick. So we could simplify this system a little bit here. Just might take me a second. So um, insert on the south... Okay, no, not east, south. So we'll insert, we'll extract. Hold on. Let's do insert. Where's the other one? Actually, yeah, so this is what we'll do. We'll do south, insert, extract, and then here, I'll just do insert, no, extract the that should work right so we'll extract and then grab our laser wrench oh yeah just do this again And that should bring it back to normality. So we just get rid of that hopper. Okay? That's what I'm trying to do. Now, if we put a barrel here, put our storage bus here, then, of course, we'll need a crystal. And then flux cable. No, fluix, not fluid, not flux. Fluix cable. And I think this needs to be blue. Not me being picky. Like, these are blue cables. So, I just want to make sure everything's, like, lined up and everything. Alright, and then down here, we can actually power this off of... Uh, well, actually, let's take this out real quick and then grab quartz fiber. Because we do not de want these systems co to correlate um, in any means. So let's actually take out this and then this. Okay, so quartz fiber, quartz fiber, that... Let me actually get back up here real quick. Quartz fiber. And then this actually can run right here. It doesn't need to do what the other one does. All right, so now we'll flux point, power, power, all of that stuff, redstone furnace, laser node then now we'll need some item nodes so we'll need one two three four i think right should be a good number and we'll grab some basic filters and also let's grab another actual laser node All right, so another laser node. And 
Yeah, I guess that's what we'll need, but we'll need to grab more logic processors and all that, or the logic chips from Laser IO here in a minute. Oh, I guess I only needed one. I guess I didn't need that. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm confusing myself. Anyway, uh, up we will extract. Uh, and then here, uh, input in the back. So we'll then do insert. We'll go up, extract. Let's just do a filter of these things. Oh, did I not filter that? I didn't. That's okay. So up, filter, allow, crystals. That'll go in there. Oh, wait, hold on. Am I doing this wrong again? I might be. Yeah, I'm doing this wrong. So we actually only want Certus Quartz Dust. Certus Quartz Dust is what we'll need. Perfect. So we did it right, but also wrong at the, at the first time. And then we'll need to take where this one is. So it's right here. Do that. Do that. Do this. Do this. Do that. And then, of course, we'll need an insert on the south side. And we're just going to filter this with silicone. All right, so that should work. And then we're going to then do actual input output, extract, filter, silicone, and then south, that. And that should not do anything because we don't have another drawer. But once we hit a drawer in that wall, and, of course, a storage bus. All right, so storage bus. Paxel, where's my Paxel? All right, and that should allow for silicone. To be inserted. And another thing we want to quickly do, not linking, is uh, lock these because I completely forgot about that. And that's actually got the wrong dust in it. All right, what are you doing? Why are you allowing silicone dust? All right, now it's functioning. That was a bit weird. All right, so now we're getting silicone. Of course, these things could have speed upgrades and everything in there, just don't have them yet, so we're just gonna wait on that. Um, but yeah, that is two systems down that we need to worry about. And uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, this is, it's working, definitely. We're going to need another set of Fluix cables. They should have some in here. 
I need normal ones. There we go. Normal ones. Got the storage bus. Probably should be running out of channels on this sooner or later. I think channels have been altered. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But the way that channels used to work is they actually would be dependent on cables. So I think it was like 32 with a dense cable on one side, 32, 32, 32, uh, 32 on top and 32 on bottom. And once you use those channels, of course, you couldn't use that cable line anymore because you had, a, you know, too many channels on it. So it would actually break. But it looks like what the way it is now is that this controller will have a certain amount of channels and that will actually prevent you from doing it doing a certain amount of things once you hit that amount of channels i think that's how this is i'm not sure though but that's what it seems like okay so silicone and also something we can do real quick is just take out all these drives and use this MEIO port, which basically is the equivalent to the like storage view cell manipulator thing from, from refined storage. Um, it'll just allow for you to push items out of the cell into drawers and whatnot. So hopefully that all just worked. And we should have pushed everything out that we could have. So one of the biggest things with this uh, this system here is it's really reliant on this redstone furnace. So we will need to get augments for this soon. Uh, basically, augments just allow for it to go faster. Uh, you do have the components and then the augments. Uh, the components do um, scale the augments. So the better augment or components you have, the better the augment is. So, let's see. So, like, the linkage amplifier will increase the speed of the, the actual machine. So, if we go up here and look at this, you'll need Electrum and also lead gears. So, Electrum is simple. You just need gold and silver. So I think the machine we should make real quick is an induction smelter. Basically, the induction smelter will allow for you to base to create alloys. Uh, simply, uh, that's kind of what it will allow for you to do at the end of the day. And we're just gonna use some fire charges just real quick. So I don't have to make Envar blend or anything of that sort. But it's just iron and uh, nickel, I think, right? Didn't I just see that? Yeah, iron and nickel. And two iron, one nickel will make you Envar. All right, it'll make a blast furnace. It actually requires smooth stone. Well, I have a piece of stone in my hand. See, and all of these machines can actually use augments, by the way. All of thermals. So, that's something else to keep in mind. Uh, but with this, I think once we get this uh, uh, induction smelter, we're going to wrap up this episode. I think it has been a decent amount of time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this has been a fantastic episode. We got a few things done with Applied Energistics. And there's quite a bit more to come. So, that is... You know, good news. Honestly, there's a lot to do, and we are getting there, slowly but surely. So, let's go hook this bad boy up into our power system up here. Uh, we're just going to take out this guy and replace him down the line here. Which I don't think I actually have cables on me, so I'm not even going to bother breaking a hole in the floor. Yeah, I don't have them. 
Um, but yeah, so now we can make alloys, which we'll just grab some gold and silver just to show you what I mean by making Electrum. And this machine does take a little bit longer than uh, a normal machine, just so you know, because it is creating an alloy. So I guess that's kind of your trade-off. It's a simpler machine, but it is a little bit more time-consuming than other methods. So you can see that it is decent, you know, not too bad uh, if we smack it with the time in a bottle. Which, if you don't know, I did make this uh, between one of these segments. It's a simple recipe. Keep it in your inventory, builds time. Uh, then you can use that to increase the tick speed of a machine. But we now have Electrum, and we'll need to actually make plates out of this Electrum. So let's grab an engineer's hammer and make some plates. Alright. And... Got stuck on the ladder there. Let's quickly make the linkage amplifiers before I forget. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And three is the best number to make, by the way. Just, just so you guys know. I don't remember why, but I think it's because the augment needs to actually go into one of these slots. Yeah, so the component needs to go into a slot. So if you don't have, if you have four in here, you can't put that component in there. Um, but yeah, we'll get to the component next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome, and I hope to see you guys around. Bye bye.